So here we have a, a little copper sheet cut into 100 by 100 and we're going to use this here to make a little copper dish and we'll start off just by finding the centre using a couple of diagonals to do that and then draw a circle around the outside as large as we can make it and trim that off with the tin snips. Okay so then we will just mark a circle scribe it on. I don't mind scribing this on because this is not going to be part of the finished dish so it's not going to affect the finish of it. So we've got our circle here and we're ready to trim this now with the tin snips. So we've trimmed two sides already so we're just in the vise not cutting exactly on the line but as close as we can get to it. We don't want to lose the line. We need a surface or a line we can finish to. And you may see I've put a pipe over the end of the tin snips just to give me a wee bit of extra strength. Tin snips in the vise. And that gives you a good bit of strength and you can quite easily cut this here. Okay, just a simple wee trick here. Just set the sheet over the edge of the bench. And with your file. Just filing on the way down only. You don't need a vise. And then you're not putting any marks on the surface of the metal, just work your way around. Because it's going to be fairly distorted by the time we're finished, a perfect circle is not really necessary here. Just as long as there's no flat sides on it. So here we are, just heating up the copper disc. We'll heat it to a cherry red. can be better done with an uh, ordinary propane blow torch which has a bigger flame. instantly under a cold tap. Polishing here. I've just used this board with two little pins tacked into it. Polishing machine. Piece of wood because now it gets very hot. Just finishing it off here. Okay, so we're just going to try an experiment here. We've got a, a plunger and we've cut out a board and we're using this heavy duty vertical drill as a press and we're going to set our polished annealed piece of copper in here. We've annealed it now to make it soft. We've already got a central mark on this so we know we're coming down in the middle and simply all we do now is press in. So we've got a flat bottom on it, which means it's nice and stable, flat base, and this random wrinkling has taken place around the side, but it's um, quite effective. Okay, so here we have another disc of copper, annealed and ready for turning into a little dish. Now to do that, this time we're going to use a bossing hammer and a sandbag. Just knocking this into a bit of shape here. So this is just a leather 
bag stitched around, filled with sand, we get this little hollow going in the middle and because it's annealed and soft we can start just working our way around. And as I go around I'm just working closer to the centre. Okay, so here we have the dish sort of well enough formed. We're sort of trying to retain a flat sort of bottom on it so it'll stand up nicely on its own. So what we're going to do now, I've given it another little polish just to shine it up and we're going to move to the planishing steak. Now, the whole idea of the planishing is to, it's twofold, it's going to harden the metal up, though we've it fairly well hardened or work hardened by using the mallet and the bossing hammer sorry and this here will really harden it up but it'll also hopefully be a decorative sort of design on it as well so i'm going to start off here and we'll start in the middle and work our way around wider and wider as we go and it's going to have a stretching effect on it as we hammer on this metal but uh, hopefully we can sort that all out at the end so i'll start off and just give you a few wee tips on this so we'll find the middle approximately and we press down on the stake. We find the middle of the hammer, the middle of the stake, and we just position this. And we're looking not for this sound, but that that dead sound is what we're looking for. We're getting a direct connection between the two surfaces. So off we go. 